Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to read the chapter A Strange Transformation, written by Franz Kafka. Franz Kafka was a German-speaking bohemian novelist and short story writer who was born on 3rd July 1883 in Prague, Kingdom of Bohemia, Austria, Hungary. From 1889 to 1893, he attended the Deutsche Knabenschule, the boys' elementary school in Prague. In 1901, he graduated from Allstadter Gymnasium, the rigorous classics-oriented secondary school with eight grade levels. After secondary school, he went on to Charles Ferdinand University where he studied law. He obtained the degree of Doctor of Law on 18th June 1906. He died on 3rd June 1924 at the age of 40 in Curling, Kloster Newburgh, Austria. Some of his famous works are The Metamorphosis, The Trial, The Judgment, The Castle and Contemplation. Before we start the chapter, I want to ask you something. Uh, just as we know that uh, we all have ever dreamt something strange in our dreams, so did you ever dream something strange in your life? If you have and even now you remember that, then you can share that with us in the comment section given below. Now let's read the chapter. One morning, as Gregor Samsa was waking up from anxious dreams, he discovered that in bed he had been changed into a monstrous verminous bug. He lay on his armor hard back and so, as he lifted his head up a little, his brown ugged abdomen divided up into rigid bow-like sections. From this height, the blanket, just about ready to slide off completely, could hardly stay in place. His numerous legs, pitifully thin in comparison to the rest of his body, flickered. What's happened to me? He thought. It was no dream. His room, a proper room for a human being, only somewhat too small, lay quietly between the four well-known walls. Above the table on which an unpacked collection of sample cloth goods was spread out, hung the picture which he had cut out of an illustrated magazine a little while ago and sat in a pretty frame. Gregor's glance then turned to the window. The dreary weather made him quite sad. Before the explanation of the chapter, let us understand the meaning of difficult words. Monstrous, very large, verminous related to insects that live on the bodies of animals and sometimes humans. Armor hard, as hard as an armor. Arched, something that has the shape of an arch. Abdomen, the part of the body below the chest. Slide off, slip off or fall off. Flickered, moved with small, quick movements. Dreary, dull. One morning, Gregor Samsa dreams a very worrying dream, and when he wakes up, he finds that he has become a very large bug that lives on the bodies of animals. His back feels very hard, and when he lifts his head a little up, he finds that his abdomen is divided into two hard parts that look like a bow. His size becomes so large that his blanket also slips from its place. He gets so many legs which are much thinner than all other parts of his body. They move in a quick way. He gets worried about what has happened to him. He realizes that it is not a dream. His room is a room made for a human being. Seems to him to be quiet between four walls. On the table some sample cloth goods are kept and above them a picture is hanging. This picture is cut from a magazine and set in a beautiful frame. Gregor Samsa 
looks through the window, he finds that the weather is so boring which makes him all the sadder. Why don't I keep sleeping for a little while longer and forget all this foolishness, he told himself. But this was entirely practical for he was used to sleeping on his right side and in his present state he couldn't get himself into this position. No matter how hard he threw himself onto his right side, he always rolled again onto his back. He must have tried it a hundred times, clo closing his eyes so that he would not have to see the wriggling legs and gave up only when he began to feel a light, a dull pain in his side which he had never felt before. Oh God, he thought. What a demanding job I have chosen, day in, day out on the road. The stresses of trade are much greater than the work going on at head office and in addition to that, I have to deal with the problems of traveling, the worries about train, connections, regular bad food, temporary and constantly changing human relationships which never come from the heart. To hell with it all. He felt a slight itching on the top of his abdomen. Difficult words, entirely, completely, practical, relating to reality, wriggling, twisting and turning, demanding, needing a lot of effort, care, skill, etc. Trade, a particular type of business constantly, again and again. He decides to sleep more so that he can forget this all for a little while, but he knows that this is real. He is habituated of sleeping on his right side, but now he cannot because of his transformation. He tries to throw himself on right side, but all in vain. He tries again and again. He closes his eyes because he does not want to see his strange legs. Finally he gives up due to the pain he feels. He has never felt such pain before in his life. He curses his job that needs a lot of effort, care and skill. Most of his time is spent here and there on road. He has to face lot of problems. He cannot even have his food in time. He meets such people who do not respect him from heart. He finds this all bad. Suddenly he feels a slight itching on the top of his abdomen. He slowly pushed himself on his back closer to the bed post so that he could lift his head more easily. Found the itchy part which was entirely covered with the small white spots and tried to feel the place with the leg. But he retracted it immediately, for the contact felt like a cold shower all over him. He slid back again into his earlier position. This getting up early, he thought, makes a man quite idiotic. A man must have his sleep. If I didn't hold back for my parents' sake, I would quit ages ago. I would gone to the boss and told him just what I think from the bottom of my heart. He would have fallen right off his desk. How weird it is to sit up at the desk and talk down to an employee from way up there. The boss is hard for hearing, so an employee has to step up quite close to him. Anyway, I haven't completely given up that hope yet. Once I have got together the money to pay off the parents' date to him, that should take another 5 or 6 years. I'll do it for sure. Then I'll make the big break. In any case, right now, I have to get up. My train leaves at 5 o'clock. And he looked over at the alarm clock, ticking away by the chest of drawers. Good God, he thought. It was half past 6 and the hands were going quietly on. Difficult words. Etchy. Having or producing an edge. Retracted. Drew back and in. Idiotic, silly, weird, unusual, debt, an amount of money that you owe to somebody. Gregor Samsa finds it very difficult to lift up his head. 
he tries to support his body by the bed post he finds his itchy part covered with white spots he does not have any idea what these spots are for he tries to feel the surface with his leg but suddenly draws it back as he feels something like cold shower he comes back to his last position he thinks that he needs to sleep a little longer because this silly thing has happened to him due to early awakening he thinks that he loves his parents so he should not give up but go to the boss and talk to him but he is confused how he will talk uh, as he has become so strange after his transformation moreover his boss is hard to hear anyone everyone has to go close to him due to his hearing problem he thinks anyhow he has to go because he has to pay the debt of his parents and maybe it takes 5 or 6 years to get rid of all the debts his train leaves at 5 but he finds that it is half past 6 could the alarm have failed to ring one saw from the bed that it was properly set for for a clock certainly it had rung yes but was it possible to sleep through the noise that made the furniture shake now it's true he did not slept quietly but evidently he did slept all the more deeply still what should he do now the next train left at 7 o'clock to catch that one he would have to go in a mad rush the sample collection wasn't packed up yet and he really didn't feel particularly fresh and active and even if he caught the train there was no avoiding a blow up with the manager as he was thinking all over this in the greatest haste without being able to make the decision to get out of bed there was a cautious knock on the door by the head of the bed gregor a voice called it's quarter to 7 Don't you want to be on your way? Gregor was startled when he heard his voice answering. It was clearly and unmistakably his earlier voice, but in it was intermingled as if from below a painful squeaking. Difficult words, rush, a sudden quick movement. Sample, something that is looked at, tested, examined, etc. to find out what the rest is like. cautious taking great care to avoid possible danger or problems quarter one of four equal parts of something startled surprised intermingled mixed squeaking making a short very high sound gregor samsa wonders why the alarm did not ring though it was set for 4 o'clock and if it had rung why would he have not listened to it because its sound is so loud he has a next train at 7 o'clock if he wants to catch it he needs to hurry or he will miss it he has not packed up the sample cloth collection and he is not feeling well today he thinks that now he is late and if he goes to the boss he will have an argument with him He was just thinking over this all suddenly he listens a knock on the door His mother asks him if he will not get to work He is getting late it is quarter to 7 When Gregor replies he gets shocked because now his voice also seems to be changed though he can still speak like before but his voice is now making short and very high sound Grego wanted to answer in detail and explain everything but in these circumstances he confined himself to saying actually yes yes thank you mother i'm getting up right away it was very easy to throw aside the blanket he needed only to push himself up a little and it fell by itself but to continue was difficult particularly because He was so unusually wide. He needed arms and hands to push himself upright. Instead of these, however, 
He had only many small limbs which were moving continuously with very different motions and which in addition he was unable to control. If he wanted to bend one of them, the first limb extended itself. And if he finally succeeded doing with this limb what he wanted, in the meantime all the others as if left free moved around in an excessively painful agitation. But I must not stay in bed uselessly, said Gregor to himself. Difficult words confine to keep someone or something within limits. Arms a human upper limb, especially the part between the shoulder and the wrist. Upright in or into a vertical position. Limbs arms bend to make something that was straight into a curved shape. Meantime, the time before something happens or before a specified period ends excessively in a way that is too much. Agitation, a mental state of extreme emotional disturbance. Gregor wants to explain everything, but he stops and says only, Yes, mother, I am getting up. Because of his size, now it is very easy for him to throw the blanket, but at the same time very difficult to do other things. He pushes himself by using arms and hands. He feels very bad because of the unusual motions of his legs. He finds himself unable to control them. If he controls one, the another goes out of control. At last, he feels a little pain and finds that he is getting mentally disturbed. But he says he will not lose and lay in bed doing nothing. As Gregor was in the process of lifting himself half out of bed, it struck him how easy all this would be if someone were to come to his aid. Now quite apart from the fact that the doors were locked, should he really call out for help? Then there was a ring at the door of the apartment. That's someone from the office, he told himself. They aren't opening, Gregor said to himself, caught up in some observed hope. But of course then, as usual, the servant girl with her firm tread went to the door and opened it. Gregor needed to bear only the visitor's first word of greeting to recognize immediately who it was. The manager himself. Difficult words. Aid. Help. Apart. Away from something. Apartment. Room. Absurd. Not sensible. Trade. The manner in which somebody walks. As he has transformed, he is struggling to get up. He realizes that he needs help. He wishes someone to come and help him. The doors are locked and he cannot decide if he should call someone for help. Suddenly he hears an another knock at the door of the apartment. He suddenly gets an idea that someone from the office has come. No one opens the door. Then someone girl goes to the door of the apartment and opens it. Now Gregor wants the visitor to speak something so that he can know who has come by his voice. He can easily recognize the voice of his manager. Gregor swung himself with all his might out of the bed. There was a loud thud but not a real crash. The fall was absorbed somewhat by the carpet. But he had not held his head up with sufficient care and had hit it. He turned his head irritated and in pain and rubbed it on the carpet. Something has fallen in there, said the manager in the next room. Gregor tries to get out of the bed. He uses all his power to move. He falls on the carpet with a loud sound. He could not control his head, so he hits it, because of which he also feels pain that irritates him. His body gets rubbed on the carpet. The manager is in the next room. He hears the sound of his fall and tells to everyone about it. Let's see the summary of the chapter. 
This is the story of a traveling salesman named Gregor Samsa. One morning when he wakes up from his anxious dream, he finds that he has been transformed into a huge bug. Normally we see that a bug is a very small insect, but Gregor Samsa is very large. The reason behind it is that he was human being and he has been transformed from a human form into a bug. He is shocked at his present appearance and wants to forget it by sleeping. He wants to sleep on his right side as always, but he can't due to the large sections which have been divided from his abdomen. After trying repeatedly, he feels pain and gives up. He is already late to his work and he decides to catch another train to meet his bus. He is surprised to think why the alarm did not ring today. He owes money to his boss and he does not want his parents to be indebted. He was just thinking over this all. Suddenly he hears a knock on the door. His mother asks him if he will not go to work. He replies that he will just get up and go right away. But when he tries to get up, he realizes that he needs some help. He hates the movement of his strange legs. Suddenly he hears and another knock on the door. The girl servant opens the door. The manager of Gregor has come to see him. Gregor tries to move but he falls on the carpet and hits his head. The manager in the next room hears it and tells everyone about it. So this was the chapter A Strange Transformation. Subscribe my channel if you haven't already and do not forget to like and share the video. Thanks.